Thank you, Dennis, and good afternoon, everyone. I am happy to be here today, and I'm honored that I could be the first student MC that you guys have at the Summer Institute. Thank you. On top of some of the accomplishments that Dennis had um, shared with you guys, there's a lot of other firsts that I've had. So not only was I a graduate of the Brunswick County Early College High School, but I was a part of the first cohort of the, the school. Um, I also am the first child of my mom. She's a single mother of three. I also was my grandmother's first grandchild. Um, I am also a first generation college student and I also was a part of the first cohort of UNCG Guarantee Scholars, which is a scholarship program where I was awarded a full ride scholarship for my education. So I would like to say that it all started with me attending the Brunswick County Early College High School. They really did help me develop as a person into the person that I am today in so many ways. And the best way for me to explain this to you all is using our school's five values, which we call the five R's. So relationships, which we define as building a foundation that fosters growth, success, and accomplishments throughout life. Many of our teachers treated us as young professionals. And we had that relationship with them where we could learn from them, not only inside the classroom, but outside the classroom. Those relationships helped me be able to create similar relationships when I went into the university. So a lot of people were worried about having friends. I was more worried about networking and connections, which <laughs> ultimately got me the job that I have now working at my scholarship program as the coordinator for my scholarship. Rigor was our second R, defined as incorporating high expectations for all students in all classes. I continued to rise to every occasion or challenge which caused me to take a part in several leadership positions during my college career. Even today, my biology teacher from high school, Rebecca Stanley, asked me to, who now works for North Carolina New Schools, <laughs> asked me to MC, and I took that challenge. So the rigor in the courses let me know that I could achieve things that I might not have thought of. So I continue to do that throughout my college career and even today. So now it has gotten me here and the value has taken me from a clear introvert, which I was in high school, to the self-proclaimed extrovert that you see in front of you today. <laughs> I'm shaking in my boots, but you'll <laughs> never know that. <laughs> the third R is respect defined as appreciating the similarities and difference between oneself and others and recognizing the importance of valuing one's surroundings. You may not be aware of this, but when you go to a university, there's gonna be people who don't think like you, which, you know, most students in high school think everybody's like their hometown, but when you get to school, you realize that there's differences. And especially being at UNCG, it's a very diverse university. I got to walk past students going to class who were speaking French and Spanish, and I met different people from different cultures. So this value helped me learn how to respect others, not to say that I agree with everything everyone says, but I can respect someone else's opinions, and I can also share my opinion and demand the respect that I want. The fourth R is relevancy defined as linking classroom experiences to real world application to enhance understanding. This helped me not only find the majors that I wanted to be in, but also helped me decide what my passion was in life. I looked into my, co my coursework to not only look for real, word, real world experiences, but to connect it to my lifestyle and the things that I was doing and the world that I know. So each day when I learn something new, I try to make a meaningful, a meaningful connection to it so that I can make my life more meaningful and my learning more meaningful. Our last R was responsibility, defined as taking ownership of one's actions regardless of consequences. And to be honest, this, this kept me 
on the straight and narrow. I was a little, you know, scared because I knew if I did something bad, I had to be responsible for the bad consequences. So I kept making good decisions and being responsible for the things that I did right. Also, I learned to take responsibility for the mistakes that I made. So it may not have been a bad decision that ended in bad consequences, but when you do something and you can see a better outcome if you change it a little, that's what I learned from the responsibility that the early college instilled in me. So I continuously try to make my programs better by looking at what I did, maybe not wrong, but how I could do things differently. And it constantly keeps me reevaluating not only myself, but the things that I do. So as you can see, the early college experiences taught me things inside and outside of the classroom that I can use inside and outside of the classroom. I gained something from each teacher, whether I was in their class or not. And I learned skills that I never knew I needed as a first generation college student. Things like dressing for success. My mother probably would have not been able to tell me how to properly dress for an interview if she never had a formal interview. So I had teachers that prepped me and taught me how to dress. Um, sometimes they critiqued a little more than I liked, but <laughs> nonetheless, I learned. Also, how to have an intellectual conversation with an adult. I used to be able to come to my teachers and talk to them about something that I didn't understand. So therefore, we were talking to each other as adults and they talked to me as a young professional. So those things, like I said before, helped me make relationships so that I could further my career in college and outside of college. So today, I stand in front of you and I invite you all to pat yourselves on the back because you may not have assisted me personally in my journey but I have no doubt that you have had a hand in changing a student's life. You all make a difference, and I want to thank you all for giving me the chance to serve as your student MC for the next few days, and I look forward to everything that is in store until Thursday.